And this is Anton's Resonances. And this is our second interview, which we are, the previous interview that we did was the basic platform description um, that we went into platform of your base mind consciousness system design in relation to the unconscious that you are currently living in a deliberate manner or way to create manifest and direct your reality in a particular way within the context of self-interest and survival um, wherein what is regarded as or considered as highest priority is yourself and yourself alone within that process um, it's the point within you within your mind consciousness system of yourself that has and is currently um, creating manifesting and designing the most harm towards yourself and others within your world and reality therefore we have to take this point on and we're going to take it on quite um, directly with the force because you require living yourself out of this trap that you have in essence uh, spun yourself um, because if you don't you're going to go through a life experience where you from a greater perspective will stop yourself from blaming and take yourself to a point where you're forced to take responsibility makes sense it's just common sense if you have a look at the play out in terms of the point in process in its entirety is equality and oneness therefore equal to and one with what that you do unto others will be done unto you uh, because what you do unto others you in essence do unto yourself makes sense um, previously consequences were removed from beings way of lives however now with the inversion of process all consequences will be directly faced and experienced by each individual being within themselves and their worlds so there's no more escape, running away, hiding, um, ignoring, neglecting self's actions within thought, word, and deed. I'm going to become responsible for literally everything. Um, where each one will start realizing that responsibility does not only extend to self, but self's world as self and the people within that as self. So Anton basically... You've got to start pulling up your socks, standing within a position where you realize that you're not the one and only within your world of reality. Your thoughts, words, actions, your experiences affect and influence others in your world and also your world in itself. You've got to start taking in a position of directing, standing, taking responsibility not only for yourself but for others and your world in its entirety and walking with inequality and oneness which is what we're going to be giving you perspective on to assist and support you with but you've got to do the practical living thereof make sense yes um you've got to become the tools live the tools apply the tools for you to make sure that you don't accept and allow yourself to again go to blame because i mean otherwise you have to get to a point where you've got to see what you're doing and to be able to see what you're doing you're going to have to take yourself to a point where there's no one in your world that you can blame but yourself then only through that you realize self-responsibility then only through that you've got to walk a whole process of consequence I mean then you're looking at years maybe even not this lifetime making it makes sense yes um, so we're just giving you all the detail um, in terms of where you are at right now, meaning mm. what is required of you to get yourself back on track in your own life, 
take your life in your own hands um, and not be afraid to take responsibility, not be afraid to make mistakes. Um, you've got to face those points inevitably, inevitably. I mean, rather through directing yourself than having it be experienced within and through life events, which is not suggested. Um, I mean, I'm sure in terms of if you have a look, you'd prefer being the directive principal within yourself, your life, your reality. Um, you don't need to go through physical, experiential events to realize a certain point. I mean, you can see it, apply it, live it, become it, stand up. Makes sense? Yes. So, now that we have basically discussed the platform of the point that the primary point or the main point that you're um, living, that you require looking at, that's the primary point that's really affecting, influencing you, your world, people within it, just permeating and infiltrating everything. Um, and with that, the consequences and the outflows in accordance to how you are going to decide to live Okay, um, so now let's look at some practical points now. We're going to go start going into a bit more detail um, in relation to what we discussed in the first interview. Detail meaning, for example, um, let's have a look at your thought patterns, meaning what thoughts do you require looking out for that come up in your mind towards others, a situation, the past, um, others including friends, family, uh, relationships, work colleagues, um, how your thoughts towards them and the thought patterns that play out within that cycle is creating or accessing your blame personality. Okay. Um, we're going to look at more current applications at the moment, meaning so that you can already start applying your practical application while you're here, because already even here, um, from here, there's moments where you're looking at a way out from your life back home, meaning um, if you have a look at when there's, for example, a point of support or assistance given in relation to how you should stand up, take responsibility for yourself. Um, from that perspective, you immediately want to go back to, for instance, your mother or your um, past some past events or past experiences that you feel is responsible for you being in this current situation and now you're angry because you're the one that has to take responsibility why not them we're going to go into the detail of the thought um you're gonna have to practically slow yourself down in your application to start seeing these thoughts come up but they happen so